Hello, YouTube. Or Facebook, or... Oh, shit. Dropping shit. This is what happens when you try to balance a phone on your leg while you're doing a YouTube video. Anyways. Hey, okay. it's Frimpop62 here. I just spoke to my little Peterson Bulldog. And sitting out here at work in my little garden area. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. There she is. Check it out. Pumpkin up there on the on the fence. I don't know if you can see it. It's a few tomatoes. Anyways. So yeah, I'm just sitting out here relaxing. Hey. So anyways, yesterday I was running short on pipe tobacco on me and I had to go out to the farm and lay through a visit the family, play some croquet, and I didn't want to run home and get some more, so I stopped in over at the local little cigarette shop that I knew sold some, some okay cigars, and I go in there, and as I'm getting ready to go into the cigar case, I notice that he's got a row of tents of tobacco. Now, I've never had this, this David Off red mixture, you know, so I figured, what the hell? I give it a try. So I bought it, went over, picked up my girl, went to the farm, and she ends up giving me two cigars, so I smoke on those yet. So today I decide I'm gonna take this to work and crack it open. You know, it's got nothing on it. It doesn't say what it is, it just has the Surgeon General's warning, made in the EU, that kind of stuff. Now I can, I can taste some, like, uh, Cavendish in it, I can taste some Perique in it, but, you know, when you pop the tin, it almost smells like an aromatic, but when you're smoking it, it smokes like just a regular pipe tobacco, so, you know, no harshness, no coughing, the room note, not so much, uh, you know, everybody around me today said, oh, that smells good when I'm packing my pipe, but it's, ah, it smells like regular tobacco when you smoke it, so. But, I gotta admit, it's pretty good. You know? I paid a little bit more than I wanted to there. But, you know, it's the convenience of having it there. So I ended up paying about 15 bucks for this tin. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can get this on Pipes and Cigars for like $9.99. So, if you guys are interested in it, give it a try. It's actually a pretty decent smoke. In fact, I may end up ordering some more of this when I get paid. Now, I know they also got a blue label one that I'm going to give a try to. Anyways, so, here it is. Uh, happy uh, Labor Day, everybody, you know, that had it off. If you were not like me and you had to work it, you know, sorry, I feel for you. I'm there with you. And... You know, so, like I said, this is just a little touch base, a little review, if you will, of this tobacco. If you guys want to see pictures, actually, you know what, I might even try to add in the pictures to the end of this video from the farm, doing the croquet and all that good stuff, little practice rounds for Thanksgiving. So, anyways, so... Today's been a pretty peaceful day here at work. Watched some TV, went to the gym with the guys. Come back here, did a little bit of leather work. And one of the guys ma made a uh, dream catcher. You know, so we're, we're having a pretty good day. You know, not, nothing too dramatic happened. Went to dig up some of my potato plants that I planted. and Well, they didn't do too well this year. I don't know, first time doing it, maybe I maybe I went at them too early, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, if anybody else has had this, let me know what you think. If not, you know, go ahead and give it a try, it's worth it. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely going to be putting this, a few tens of this way in the cellar for hard times. Or just for when I'm needing a mild smoke. You know, it's it's actually really good. Alright, so have a good time, happy smoking, five split.